Hello everybody, Smith here, and a very Merry Christmas to all of you. Um, yes, it's this channel's fourth Christmas special. That's... that's nuts. Um, but yes, I put out an SOS because I do not have very much time to do a Christmas special, what with the little one, and a bit of an ongoing family emergency, and you... You brave souls have come to the rescue. Uh, in the background you can see my own Christmas sleigh, um, which wasn't flying, but after precisely one metric butt ton of adjustments and changes and a new twin tail section, which you can see, I have got it flying again. It's not really combat capable anymore, but uh, we'll see what we can do. But yes, you have sent me some of your own combat ready sleighs and we are going to go and see um, See what Santa has delivered me this Christmas. Now, I was sent five of these glorious creations, um, but one wasn't really flight ready, so that leaves us with four. As chance would have it, the perfect number for a mini tournament, so that's what we're going to do. We start with the MRJ Santa's Battle Sleigh by Dion No. Uh, different from my own sleigh, it's uh, also got a little bit up front here, these kind of fuel tank, kind of reindeer-y type things, which I think is cute. And we also have the Sleigh V2 by Adam Henderson. Adam, who has recently become a patron and this is his little patron Kerbal uh, piloting one of his own craft. So without any further ado let's get this fight going. The battle commences. I mean just for the size of the thing you kind of have to s fancy the sleigh here but uh, Dion no. Um, he's been around this channel for a little bit, sent me quite a few craft. I think he, uh, I think he might pull off a bit of a surprise here. I don't think Ghosty Josh and company have gotten away any of their own missiles yet. I might be mistaken. Uh, getting closer and closer and closer. Can they fire those missiles? Can they fire? Got plenty of countermeasures, managing to dodge the incoming volleys. Um, yeah, don't seem to be too keen to get away their own missiles, but now goes for the sidewinder, goes for the guns, gets a glancing hit. I'm not sure that will be enough to do any serious damage, but Ghosty gets away a sidewinder. The missiles do work after all. That is some heavy damage onto the, the sleigh. Oh my word, that is, yes. Adam Kerman. <laughs> Welcome to the community. How's your other craft doing? Steak and Valentina Kerman are trying their hardest to wiggle out of this trouble, but I'm afraid it's not gonna, not gonna work for them, and it is a uh, a very quick, easy victory for Dion. No. Hmm. Yes. So smaller, lighter, more manoeuvrable. It's not always the best way to go. Sometimes, well, maybe just a a little bit of extravagance does pay off. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on to the next round. Another 2v2 then, this time we have Actions FASA Santa. Uh, you might notice there's a little A after some of the uh, some of the vehicles. If this is one of your creations and you're wondering where that appeared from, I've made some adjustments. Um, well, I mean, not real adjustments, just to make sure I can redden them up a bit. You know, make everything look a bit festive. Anyway, yes, Actions FASA Santa. And then we have Legged Lax Christmas Special Package Delivery. Yeah. I... Yeah. That's quite impressive. That is quite impressive. Anyway, I would normally put my money on the on the uh, the Santas, um, given how they're sleek and compact and look a little bit like an A wing. But I think the last round taught us that, yeah, you can't you can't write off the things with any kind of reindeery stuff in the front. Uh, let's let's get this one going. So our second round starts. The uh, the Santa gets around very quickly. The uh, Christmas special, not quite as quickly. Although, actually, yeah, pretty quickly. Missiles away. Oh, for a second there, I thought that might be suicide one. My god, my frame rate is not doing well. Yes, yeah, some very imaginative craft sent to me. This is, I think, about as far away from the sleigh concept. Kind of sleigh-ish, but uh, as, I, as I was hoping for... I did have someone ask me if they could basically do a pickup truck on the basis that they've seen one in a Christmas commercial. No, is the answer to that one. No. Oh my god, both the Santas are gone. Yeah. 
And here come more missiles. No one's no one's there. Josh Kerman. Just Josh Kerman left there. I'm assuming this has some kind of probe core in it as it's continuing to try and fly around. But yeah, that's 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 dead. Josh Kerman, that's not actually oh. I was about to say, that's not falling that slowly. That might be survivable. But no. No, it isn't. Anyway, that's uh, that's our two kind of semi-finals done. Let's, uh, let's move on to our final. I didn't check how many parts each of these craft are, but I just know my computer isn't an entirely happy camper right at the moment. Anyway, yes, Dion knows MRJ Santa's Battle Sleigh versus the, uh, for, sorry, Legolax Christmas Special Package Delivery. Let's uh, let's get them into the air. So our little final starts and the uh, the uh, special package delivery get their way around. Special package delivery. That's not a proper noun, is it? Um, yes, the computer frame rate is actually slowing to a crawl now as uh, Legolax Craft do their usual trick of firing off. Um, how many missiles is it? Four missiles. They're trying to suppress the enemy a bit. Dion Nose Craft um, heading in again. I don't think these are too good. Didn't uh, actually launch their Amrams last time. I'm not sure if there's a problem with them. But should have plenty of countermeasures. I Oh my word, some of those are coming close. Some of those are coming close, I think. Yeah, I think the on those craft are alright though for the moment. They will have at least one more volley. I think they could that's craft. Yeah, I think it's just designed for the two volleys of four. I think. Well, they do have a, seem to have some spare ones in here. Ooh, Adam Kerman going for guns. Now going for a sidewinder. Yeah, it's it's going to be up to Dion Nosecraft to sort of safely close the distance, and that's going to be difficult. But I think if they can get in there, this might be... Oh, wow, that's... I <laughs> switched away from that craft at the wrong moment, because that's, that's had a lot of damage. Still flying. Still flying. Josh and Ion Kerman. Oh, turn too tightly. We lose a bit of intake air. Uh, now, like, let's craft can come in. Oh my god, that was very nearly a collision. We know Legolak can design a good craft. Can he design a good sleigh? Coming around. Might be able to get guns. The uh, the battle sleigh not turning around to uh, to face and get guns. There we go. Those Gal 22s. Oh my god, that is some close quarters battle. But, uh, oh. Oh, will the battle sleigh perform the old switcheroo? No, it, it doesn't look like it. How's the, how's the damage battle sleigh doing? Still managing to avoid the attention of Adam Kerman. Oh, is that a sidewinder? I don't see any countermeasures coming in. That could be costly. Yes, I think the sleigh was out of countermeasures. Oh dear, and that's, yeah, that's that's the Kerbals killed as well. Adam Kerman going in for the Gal 22s just to finish it off. So it is now two versus one. Josh and Ion Kerman have their work cut out for them. Gal 22s come in, gets a smattering, gets a scorching. I don't think it uh, it actually damaged the craft though. The other uh, the other of Legolax's craft currently distracted by the tumbling debris of the other battle sleigh. Oh my word, this is a problem. The uh, the battle sleigh loses some stability. Now it has uh, now has a missile coming in. Those missiles. Most of them distracted by flares, but not all of them. And it is all over. Gal 22 bullets coming in. To uh, to finish the craft off. None of them strike though. That was a that was a nice shot. Both both of the battle sleighs um, incapacitated, which means it is a victory for Legolax. Quite spectacular Christmas sleigh. I mean, that is, that is, some effort has gone into that. So, yeah. Anyway, that will be all for today. Sorry it was such a short one, but as I said, a um, lot of, a uh, lot of pressures on my time at the moment. So thank you so much to uh, my subscribers who sent some stuff in, to Dion No, to Action, to Legilac, to Adam Henderson, and to uh, Mises, Mises, 
Mercedes. I don't know how you uh, how you say your name, but uh, thank you also for sending a craft. I'm sorry we couldn't really um, get it in here, but uh, yeah, as I said, wasn't uh, wasn't ready to fly and. I needed to kind of start recording quickly. Uh, you guys really have helped me out of a jam, so thank you so much to that. And to you for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, perhaps a uh, great KSP community and uh, BD Army community on there. Uh, all the links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and Patreon if you want to help support the channel. It only remains for me to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas, or however you celebrate this time of year in your household. I will be back soon with some more BD Armoury, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.